Well, then your V's definitely got an eye for the ladies. Well, you don't have to tell me, do you? I work with him, remember? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be stuck in shells very long if I worked on him. I'd have him in the palm of my hand. How do you mean? He's a lonely man, but he needs to feel wanted. You show him your care and you could be quids in there, Kip. Well, I hope you don't think he's going to get up to any hanky-panky with me even near the sugar bag. There's more than one way of skinning a rabbit, Vera. Uh, I'm not with you. No. Oh, for instance, you invite him back here, don't you? Eh? For tea. For tea? Mm. Oh, come here for tea. It's boss, isn't it? Yes, but he's a neighbour and all, and a lonely one. I bet he's not had out decent to eat since he moved in that flat, you know? Mm. You fit, Vera? Ah, uh, yeah. Right, come on. Right. What do you think Mr. Allsworth asked for his tea? For tea? I've no idea. But I know what I'll be having for breakfast. Us, if we don't get a move on. Now, come on. Uh, look, uh, I'm not stopping. They've got a couple of small problems over the cabin. I said I'd look in later. Well, it could be uh, about lunchtime. So if you've not had a better offer, first meet me in the Rovers about one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Well, you know, not if it's a problem. No, no, it's not. I'm sorry. My mind was on something else. I've, I've had a letter from Ken, just letting him know where he's staying. Look, Dee. About Ken. I I've been no, thinking... I'm sorry, of... Dave. I don't mean to shove you out, but I do have a meeting at the town hall this morning. I... Well, we'll talk about it at dinner time, OK? Yeah. Right, well. Till dinner time, then. I look forward to it. Return. Uh, Nigel, <laughs> how, uh, how very nice to hear from you. <laughs> yes, yes, my, my lady wife and I were talking about you only the other day. I see. Well, it'll be a pleasure, of course. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to come and see it's this afternoon. Uh, well, actually, I uh, had in mind that. Uh, no, 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 2, two, two, two thirty would be fine. Right, right. I'll, I'll look forward to it. Can you, uh, can you give me any inkling as to what it's about? Uh, you know, give me a chance to prepare my defence. <laughs> uh, no, right. I see. Well, in that case, I shall look forward to finding out this afternoon. Yes, yes, and uh, I'll see you later. Goodbye, Nigel. Hey, tea up. Ah, I bet it will. Take weight off your feet for five minutes. Hey, Alec won't like it. Well, then Alec can do the other kind. Ah, uh, oh, there you are, uh, Betty. Yeah. I think Jack wants a hand in the bar. Betty's oh, yeah. just having five minutes with me. I'm sorry, Bet. She's wanted in the bar. She's entitled to a tea break and I want to talk uh, to her. Look, I've got important business to discuss with you. That was the brewery on the phone. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, you didn't give me a chance, did you? I'll see you later, Betty. Right. Uh, thank you, Betty. That's all right. What important business? Eh? What important business? What did the brewery want? Well, I don't know, do I? Oh, I see. Just making a point, will you? In front of Betty, showing her who's boss round here? No, no, no. When Nigel says he wants to see me in his office, that's important. Nigel Ridley? Yes, half past two this afternoon. That was him, on the phone. Not his secretary, him. What did he want? Well, you tell me. I'll give him a chance to say I'd be there. How did he sound? What do you mean, how did he sound? Well, like he wanted you on a butty for his tea. Like he was your best mate? Oh, he was friendly enough. Oh, there you are, then. You've nothing to worry about, have you? Nothing to worry about. Listen, when Nigel Ridley's anything more than civil to me, that's when he's at his most dangerous. Uh, I'd better ask be ready for him. Eh? More than a match for the Nigel Ridleys of this world. Mm. Mm. 
did not say what they just going then. No, he didn't, Phyllis. The term of a person, is it? Yeah, well, he's still been and gone, hasn't he? Hey, do you know, bro, I might blame my neck to get here and Well, all. look, if there are any messages, if he does come back. Don't bother. Hey, he's taking me to bowling this afternoon. Oh, well, he'll remember that, won't he, Phyllis? Oh, I don't think so. I haven't asked him yet. <laughs> hey, go on, kid, I'll have a cup of tea. Right, I'll bring it over. All right. So far, so good. Ivy and Donna are all right for tonight, too. Now all I've got to do is stop Nicky getting to the first. I reckon I'm going to have enough trouble when I break the news. Feel of Thank and you. 50's a pound. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Look, all I'm saying is that I saw him leaving Deirdre Barrow this morning when I was coming into work. I was definitely around there last night. Well, she's over 21, you know. And he seems a decent enough bloke to me. Yeah, but there is Tracy to think about, isn't there? Well, she stayed with a friend last night. Did she now? And I'm sorry to disappoint you, Sally, but Dave didn't stop the night. I definitely saw him arriving this morning when Jim went to work. Well, not that there'd be anything wrong if he had stayed the night, like. I mean, after what she's been through these last few months, she deserves every little bit of happiness she can get her, doesn't she? Oh, exactly. is this you running down now, then? We're not running anybody down. We're just talking about Deirdre Barlow. Well, what's she been up to? She hasn't been up to anything. She ain't entitled to be up to. Well, not in my book, anyway. I'll see you later, Sally. See ya. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. Morning. Oh, morning, Mrs. Brennan. Uh, can I leave my order with you, love? Here, don't don't pick it up after dinner. Yeah. Oh, and that frozen gato, I'll pick it up myself tomorrow. I'm taking it to our girls. What are you going to girls now? Eh? Hey? Yes, tomorrow for tea. Why? Is the summer's up? No, no, it's just that we've been invited to tea as well, Audrey and me. You know. I mean, I didn't think that you and Donna. I mean, she never mentioned that you and Donna were going. No, she never mentioned you and Audrey either. Oh. Well, he must have said summer. He hasn't, honest. Curly probably doesn't even know himself. Yeah, but he must have some idea why Mr. Old just left home so sudden. I reckon it's something to do with that Mrs. Dodds. If it is, he said no to me. Uh, back in a minute. No way you're to, Vera. Vera! Very handy there, Martha. You know, when you're on your own. Yes, yes, they are, When yes. you can't be bothered making all for yourself. Mrs. Duckworth, I don't think my eating habits are any concern of yours. Do you know we're only saying that last night when we were tucking into lamb chops and mint sauce and roast potatoes and peas? I said, do you know, it's times like this when I feel sorry for Mr. Rolls for having that flat on his own. I can manage, actually, Mrs. Duckworth. Yeah, living out of packets. I said, do you know, I bet he'd, he'd love a bit of home cooking. Yes, well, uh... Yeah, in fact... We're thinking about asking you around for your tea one night. I said, oh, no, I can't imagine Mr. Oldsworth sitting at the same table as his staff. No, well, that would be a consideration, of course. Yeah, even though we are neighbours, you know, I mean, uh, even though one of us is your assistant manager. Ah, yeah. Well, that would make a difference, wouldn't it? I mean, a great difference. In fact, if you uh, were to ask me, it would be extremely uncharitable of me to refuse and an insult to yourself and to Mr. Watts. <laughs> great! Hey, you're on. Uh, tea tonight, then. What, well, tonight? Yeah, well, you've no one, have you? Well, no, no, I haven't, no. <laughs> oh, you won't be needing me, will you? No. <laughs> right, see you then. Ah, oh, there you are. I thought you'd gone out. What are you doing home? I've got a couple of hours off. I've done a swap with Mick Chester. What, him as wife's just had a baby? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'll sell a cover for him for a couple of hours tonight while he goes to hospital. I hope you don't mind, love. No, of course I don't mind. Yeah, I said, uh, I said I couldn't do it tomorrow. Oh? We're going out to tea with your girl, aren't we? How do you know about that? Well, Alf's just told me. We're all going. Listen, doesn't it seem odd to you that they've invited us all round there at the same time? Well, not really, no. Well, it does to me. There's something going on, Dad, I'm telling you. They're planning on telling us something, something they want us to all hear at the same time. Like what? Like they're planning on getting married. Gail and that Martin Platt, what else? Married? Yes, Don, married. And if that's what they're up to, I don't want no part of it. <laughs> Hey, what? Well, seems to be a weight off your mind. What does? Oh, telling the kids about the baby. You talk with a different person compared to what you was yesterday. Well, I am, as a matter of fact. It meant a lot to me, did that, kid? It means any doubts that Gail's had about having the baby are out the window, aren't they? She's going through with it. 
There's no way she had sold Nicky and Sarah if she was just thinking of getting rid of it, is it? So, I think these are on me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boss, girls. Look, almost good enough for it, then, Bessie. Oh, yeah, cheeky monkey. Hey, if you want any, hang about. There's not a lot left. Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll wait for Sal. Do yourself. Not going along. Yes, Don, what can I do for you, sir? Orange juice, please, Jack. Is that it, is it? Yeah, go on, set yourself. Go on, lad. Uh, Martin, I believe that. But you got a second? Yeah, right. Yeah, about this invite to your place for tea tomorrow. Yeah. What about it? Oh, well, you've invited uh, Alf and Audrey, no? Yeah. What about it? Look, Ivy's a bit bothered about it. She reckons there must be more to it than the cause of the tea party. Oh, eh? Like you two might be planning an announcement. Like what? Like marriage. <laughs> Marriage? She thinks you've invited us downstairs so you can tell us you're going to get wed. No, no, look, you can tell, Ivy. She's got nothing to worry about on that score. Look, right, that's not why you invited us round. No, it's not. No. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right? I still don't understand why having him round for tea would have given me indigestion just sitting at the same table as him. That's just as well you're not coming, then. I've not heard of a better job or something. Honest. You know, if I can't invite a neighbour round for a bit of tea. I'm sorry. So do you think Shepherd's Pie will be all right, then? Well, yeah. Soon me like shepherd's pie. Eh? Hey? Well, I don't suppose he's a vegetarian. Vegetarian? Oh, I can never thought of that. No, he doesn't look like a vegetarian, does he? Nobody looks like a vegetarian, Vera. They don't have a label tattooed across the forehead saying I'm a vegetarian, do they? Five minutes, ladies. Oh, yes, Mr. Watts. Hey, we were late coming on this break, you know. I said five minutes, Vera. Uh, hang on. Hey, you probably know. And what? Is Holdsworth a vegetarian? What's that going to do with anything? Well, you don't want to give it wrong thing, do you? I'm sorry, you've totally lost me. When he comes for his tea. Mr Holdsworth? Yeah, that's right. Vera, you have as much chance of Mr Holdsworth coming to our house for his tea than I have of buying a better buys. Oh, is that right? Well, you better start saving up then, because he's coming tonight, so don't you be late. Uh -huh. 162, please, oh. Dave. Cheers. Sorry I was late. Ah, oh, don't worry, I was held up myself. There's only meant to be a quick job at the cabin. Well, it can't even start till tomorrow anyway. And I was reckoning without that Mrs. Will. <laughs> I can imagine. You stop worrying, you look fine. Not too prosperous, I hope, if he's going to talk about rent. Alec, will you calm down? Yes, well, I've never been at home with Nigel Ridley, you know that. He's not like the old school likes us, not at all. Well, he's still a human being now, come on. You don't want to be late. That'll be something else for him to stick in his computer. All right, I'll see you later, Jack. Hey, right, boss. Hey, you'll knock him dead. You are dressed like that. The brewery, very smart. You see, I have overdone it. Alec, on your way. Right, I'll see you later. Then. All right, bye-bye. Right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Well, this is a very pleasant surprise. What's that? I've been lunch for me. Well, I was only working around the corner in Rosamond Street, and I said to myself, now, Jim, where could you find a gorgeous bird to spend an hour with? And you'd no idea, so you came round for me. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, what time have you got to be there? Whenever I like, as long as I get the job finished. So, um, fancy another one then? Why yeah? not? <laughs> yes, love. Uh, a pint of lager and a vodka and butter lemon, please, Betty, if you got the chance. Okay, love. I can't help one drink, can I? Well, now Ken's left his fancy woman, well, just where it leaves you and him. <laughs> you and me. Exactly where we were before. He's got his life, I've got mine. Now, do you mind if we take the weight off our feet, or I've been up on my hind legs all morning? Jim! You! Yellow! Have you seen him? Martin? Yeah. Well? You're backing up wrong tree there, love. They've got no plans for getting married. Are you sure? Positive. So what is it all in here, Doc? Well, it's just what it sounds like. An invite to tea. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes, but why are the four of us done? That's what's puzzling me. Well, why not? I mean, it can't be easy finding a convenient time these days, what with Martin doing shift work. Ah, I suppose so. So, we'll just go along there and enjoy it, right? Yeah, thanks. Feel better now? A lot better. Huh. I thought you were playing bowls. I was, but I haven't caught up with Percy yet, have I? And it's not much fun on your own, is it? 
So I thought I'd stop here and have a cup of tea and a tea cake and wait for this face to appear. Right, I'll put the tea cake on. Hello, love. All right. Hey, what are you doing here? <coughs> You're going to get your head down for a couple of hours before you went to work. Oh, I'm going to. I've just been uh, talking to Don in the Rovers. Ivy smelt her hat. You know, asking more for tea tomorrow. Oh? Yes, she reckons we're going to be making an announcement. Oh, listen, I told you we were asking for trouble, even it's so long after telling the kids. No, you ain't covering the kids' armour at counter, John. Oh, Sammy. Hey, hang on a minute. She knows nothing about the baby. But well, you said. Yeah, that... she's expecting an announcement. We're not about that. Well, what then? Well, <coughs> she reckons we're going to be getting married. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, straight up on it. Oh, 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 she'd be tickled pink when she knows the real reason you've asked around, won't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, they certainly beat sitting in the Rovers nattering, lying in Alec Gilroy's pockets. <laughs> if there's one thing I were dying for, it were a cup of fresh brewed tea. Help yourself to milk and sugar, love. Tom. Well, he's certainly made a good job of your kitchen. Yes, yes, he has. He's not being unreasonable, you know, wanting to know where he stands with you. I thought he knew where he stood. I think we have a good relationship going. Why can't that be enough for now? It certainly is for me. He's obviously feeling threatened. Threatened? Knowing what's happened to Ken. While he was with this Wendy Watsit, everything fell neatly into place. But now, he's footloose and fancy free. What will he do? Will he come to you? Will Tracy want him back? Will you want him back? Ken leaving Wendy changes nothing. Certainly not, as far as I'm concerned. So tell Dave that. Reassure him. Oh, I've tried. But he seems to want something more from me. Some sort of massive commitment on my part, which, well, quite frankly, I am just not ready for. No. Oh. Why does life have to be so flaming complicated? Oh, the wanderer returns. I was beginning to think you'd been kidnapped. Oh, well, if that's the treatment I get, I wish I had been. So, it wasn't bad news? Oh, no, not at all. In fact, he was rather pleased the way things have been going the last few months. He is going to put the rent up. I was never even mentioned. Well, what does he want? Well, just to give us a pat on the back, for one thing, for, for the way we are changing and adapting to the new clientele. Round here, he must be joking. We have to move our regulars round when we clean the place. The part of the fixtures and fittings, ah, most of them. No, that's where you're wrong, though, Bet, isn't it? I mean, things are changing round here. You know, all that property going up, they're going to change a lot more. We're going to have a lot of more people like that Stefan Des coming in for one thing, and they're not exactly a pie and pea brigade, are they? Alec, what exactly are you saying? What I'm saying, Bet, is there are new challenges to be faced, new profits to be taken for them who are able to rise to the challenge. Nigel Ridley said that, did he? He did, and I agree with him. I mean, what man wouldn't? Go, oh, of course he would. I mean, he is the boss. What exactly has he got in mind? Strippers, topless barmaid? Of course not, no, no. What he's got in mind for this place is a new image. An image for the 90s. An image that's going to shine out like a beacon and attract folk with real spending power like moths to a candle. <laughs> Nigel Ridley said that and all, did he? He did, and he's right. He's a man of vision, understanding. He knows what motivates people. Like fat profits. Exactly. Is this mine? Thanks, love. Oh. This really is an excellent meal, Mrs. Zappa. Ah, uh, you can't beat home cooking. No, I agree. It's not only the food that makes for a public meal, is it? It's the company and the, the ambience. Oh. <laughs> I'm a very lucky man, Norman, finding such a home from home. Yes, Mr. Oldman. Yeah, but we don't think of him as just a lodger, you know. Mm. No, a chap. No, he's more one at family. Oh, I well, of us, you know. Yes, fortunate indeed. Well, you seem to have settled in very well at Better Bar, Mrs. Yeah. Appleth, after that little uh, trouble at Christmas. And uh, considering your background, that is. Background? Yes, I mean, considering the fact you haven't worked in a supermarket before. I very worked. versatile, our Vera. Give her the chance, that's all she wants. Yes. Yeah, oh, aye. Chance of, uh, you know, like promotion. No. Better job, like. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure right. Mr. Holdsworth doesn't want to talk shop all night, Vera. We've all had a very, very long day. Yeah, well, I'm going to see him. Oh, and Mr. Holdsworth wanted to know how long ago you've been working at the uh, the Rovers, Jack. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yeah. Must be a very interesting job, uh, meeting all these new people. 
Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what I like about my job, you know, yeah. meeting people. Yes, yes. And I, I suppose the hours are flexible enough to follow any pursuits you would follow. Oh, right. I, I yeah, mean, when right, I started yeah. at Metabise, you know, I didn't think of it as just another job. No. Well, you had your pigeons, didn't you, Jack? All the pigeons. No, right, I just, right. uh, I thought of it more as the start Look, of a promising uh, Mrs. career. Mrs. Duffer. I take your point. Really, I do. You see, if you And then there was the motorbike. Yeah. Remember your motorbike? Yeah, yeah. Now, if I could just... Which, which, him the job. which I still would have had, only for a certain even, not a million miles away from here. Do you remember the, uh, the Velocet LE 200? The Velocet LE 200. Oh, yes, yes. What a bike. <laughs> what a bike. <laughs> so you were a bike man and all. Uh, Symbol of my oath, Mr. Douglas. Symbol of my uh, oath. Hang on a minute. What were you going to say? Well, it was nothing. Well, Vera! Not not really Vera, do like... you mind? Mr. Oldworth, Reg is a guest under our roof. Do you mind not going on about flaming work, do you? Were you an AJS man and all? Eh? AJS man? Uh, uh, through and through. Absolutely. Great days, Reg. Mm. Great days. Yeah. Beezer. Beezer, yeah. Matchless. Matchless. Norton. Do you remember the Dominator? Well, no, I, I don't say I, no. Mind you, I don't watch a lot of television these days. But if you say the Dominator rode an AGS, I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's a man's bike if ever there was one. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thanks, Paula. I'll give it you back tomorrow. See ya. I thought she was never going to go. What did she come home with you for? Geography homework. There aren't enough textbooks to go round, so we have to share. Well, perhaps if you've got ten minutes to spare, we could have our tea now. Mm, sorry, it hasn't spoiled, has it? No, no, it's not spoiled. I'll go and wash my hands. Tracy? Yeah? Hang on a minute, love. I've got something I want to tell you. I've been waiting for a chance ever since you got in. It's about your dad. My dad? Him and Wendy Crozier have... split up. He's not living with her anymore. He's left her? Well, I don't know what's happened, but he's gone. Where to? He's got digs in Chepstow Road. He's written to me, letting me know where he is. Does he want to come back? He didn't say so. Well, he's left Wendy Crozier. Tracy, love. Him leaving Wendy Crozier is one thing. Coming back here is something else altogether. Something I don't even want to talk about. All right? Look, love. I'm telling you where he is because I think you've got a right to know. But as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't change a thing. I'll go and put the tea out. Biff kissing Kathy is something that can't be kept a secret. After all, it is Emmerdale, next on Plus.